We just finished a, a really big project, a brand new runway, the training runway for uh, Preble Memorial. So today was the official kickoff uh, of the runway. It's been open for uh, about three weeks now, uh, and uh, it's, it's used primarily as training for a, a group called DOS Aviation. DOS Aviation is the biggest user of the airport. They're our largest customer. And what DOS Aviation does is that a few years ago, the U.S. military was having a horrendous time with accidents on, on, of, of student pilots. And what they found out is that they were transitioning student pilots into high performance aircraft way too quickly. So he said, let's try this idea where we teach them the fundamentals first. And if they do well there, then they move on to other things. Every U.S. Air Force pilot starts their flying career in Pueblo, Colorado. Every single one. So now you come here, if you're a, you're a pilot, you come here, you, uh, you learn to fly your aircraft, and then you move on to jets. So this new, uh, new runway is, uh, is specifically designed for that. These folks run about 150, 160,000 operations a year at the airport, which makes us the third busiest airport in Colorado. So they're going to increase operations because of this new runway. DOS is on a 10-year military contract with a renewal every year. We want to keep them here. So we have a true through-the-fence operation. DOS has their own hangars, their own ramp, and then they actually taxi through a gate in the fence to access our airport. What it does is it takes the DOS component, it puts them out away from where the general avi avi aviation component wants to come into the airport. The, the runway really takes that component and moves it away, creates a lot of runway safety here, and really encourages pilots uh, who want to just fly on the weekend. They really want to come down here and, and see something new. You know, Eric, Eric had a big job in front of him and he had a relatively small team here in Denver to accomplish this. Eric really had to take a basic design and redesign it three, four, five times and deliver it on time. So we installed a, ended up installing a 4,600 foot runway, uh, full taxiway complex, a parallel taxiway, three connector taxiways. To do his job well, he needed a certain amount of maturity to be able to do that. I think he grew tremendously during the, the sense of this project. His technical skills are without question. He's a good engineer, a very, very good engineer. But he also has to have the people skills to make this work. And that's the unknown quotient that you look for. When I hire somebody, I have to feel comfortable that I can work with this people. His staff is very competent. My staff is very competent. They worked very, very well together. And in the end, you have a, a very successful project. And it's a great public-private project. I'm proud of my team. I'm proud of SEH. I'm proud of the federal agencies. Today's a good day and everybody's happy.